This is my FPV ground station and one of my viewers had asked me just how long the battery would last running all the equipment in my FPV ground station. So the battery I'm going to be using is a 4500 milliamp hour 3 cell LiPo battery and I'm going to start out uh, with a full charge 12.6 volts and just uh, run it down to about 11.1 .1 volts and just see what kind of time I get out of this battery running all the equipment in my FPV ground station. Okay, right now the total voltage is 12.7 and so I'm going to start out with that. My charger actually said 12.6 but this little checker is saying 12.7 so we're going to start out there and uh, turn everything on and see how long it goes. Okay, I'm not feeding any video signal into the receiver, but the uh, receiver is running, so it's drawing its current that it would normally draw. And then we got the uh, the Pile PVL2 uh, video distributor going, and we have the DVR on right now, and we also have the power going to this power strip, which it basically only uses power for the LED, so not much going on there. I have a little you back here that runs the DVR so uh, everything I'm going to be using including the monitor is running and the total voltage right now uh, you can see the individual cells here but the all is 12.6 so that's a normal charge 12.6 and we're just going to let it run right now it is 308 on the clock Okay, it's still 12.6. We've only been about a minute. And I'm watching the individual cells. I'm going to run it down to 11.1 .1 volts, but I don't want any of the cells to go below 3 volts, really, because that would damage the battery. Hopefully, we'll keep them around 3.7 for a total of 11.1. .1. Okay, it's been about a half hour. And if we look at the battery voltage, we have... Coming up on it, all oh, 12 volts right now. So we have uh, 12 volts, and we know that this draws all of these things together draw about 1.8 amps because I previously tested that. So let's see if it can go another half hour before we get to 11.1. .1. Okay, we're at 408 now, so it's been running an hour, and. Uh, we still have, let's see, 11.6 volts. So we still got a half a volt to go before we get to 11.1, .1 and we've been going an entire hour. Let's see if the uh, video still works. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the transmitter over here. Transmitter plugged in, and the video is still working. So all the ground station devices continue to work below 12 volts at 11.6 and we've been running for an hour. So now let's take it down to 11.1 .1 and see how much time elapses. Okay, we've been going about an hour and 51 minutes now. And we are now down to 11.1. Uh, .1. Right there. So we got 11.1, and we got about an hour and 51 minutes, almost two hours. I could probably let it go further and get a full two hours and just see what happens. Okay, it's been two hours and one minute now, and we have cell number one, 3.55, then we've got 3.71 and 3.66, overall 11. So we got 11 volts. So let's just uh, turn on the video and see if everything still works. Okay, just going to plug in the video here and you can see when I plug in the video transmitter how fast the video comes back on the monitor. Let's do that and there's the video and that's because I've got a DVR running and the DVR keeps the uh, monitor active so when the video returns the picture stabilizes right away.
Usually a TV would go to a blue screen while well, there was no video, but the DVR is keeping it going so it looks like snow when there's no video. And all the devices are still powered up and acting the way they should at 11 volts. So we know we can at least go down to 11 volts, actually it's 10.9 right now, and everything ran for two hours. Now I know my plane won't fly for two hours, so I think my ground station is good to go. Probably all I need is for it to run about 50 minutes, but we know it can go two hours if it has to on this battery down here, which is a three cell 4500 milliamp hour. So that concludes this test and I'm pretty happy with it.